This is a presentation about risk analysis. In this presentation, I will conduct an objective risk analysis. The problem with most risk analyses is that they do not take into consideration the true probability of adverse events. Therefore, most risk ana analyzers do business by inspiring fear in their clients by citing catastrophic events that will almost never occur. Therefore, in this presentation, I will conduct my own personal risk assessment over the last five years using objective probability. These are the most significant security events in my life over the past five years. I tried to choose events that were of equal significance. I listed them by date and then categorized them by security risk types. The categories are theft incidences, internet-related incidences, and personal or bodily harm incidences. Because of the emotional severity of each of these events, I'm seriously considering purchasing a security system to protect myself against the most significant category. Therefore, the goal of this analysis is to determine whether I should purchase an alarm system, a cyber security system, or hire a personal guard. I will calculate the daily probability of each of these categories now. I tallied the number of incidences in each category. For each category, I found the average number of days between each event. To find the daily probability, I divided 1 by the average number of days between incidences. The daily probabilities, however, can be tricky to interpret. For the risk of theft, the daily probability is 0 .0011, or about 1 in 1,000. That means I'm likely to incur one incidence of theft in less than three years, or a thousand days. The, the statistic is higher for personal assaults, predicted at 1.6 in a thousand days, or about three times in five and a half years. The most frequent threat is on the internet. The probability for a internet-related incident is 4 in 1,000 days, which is 3.5 times more likely to occur than a theft incident. Therefore, if I was to purchase a security force, it would be most beneficial for me to purchase a cybersecurity system rather than a personal guard or an alarm system. The risk analysis method is useful if you understand the meaning of probability. I had difficulty interpreting the values that I calculated. What does .001 really mean? What does 1 in 1000 really mean? I had to put this in terms of years to make any sense of my calculations. The data, however, makes it easy to prioritize. Before doing this analysis, I would have thought that protecting my belongings or myself was going to be the most cost-efficient way to be secure. But in reality, I am most unsafe on the internet. The calculations also allowed me to see that I am over three times more likely to be assaulted via the internet than to be robbed. This an risk analysis is not perfect, however. Perhaps there is a way to weight each event by monetary loss or emotional strain. I think if this, these factors were included that my internet security risk may not seem so high.